You have been prescribed an angiotensin receptor blocker, or ARB, and you likely have some questions. This educational video will help you understand what ARBs are, what they do, why you've been started on one, and how an ARB will help you. We will also look at how this therapy is monitored. You will learn how to recognize and deal with side effects should they occur. Also, you will learn if other medications or supplements can affect your ARB. And finally, you will learn how and when to take your ARB and what to do if you miss a dose. Let's get started. The full name for these medications is angiotensin receptor blockers, but this is usually shortened to ARBs. Angiotensin is a chemical produced by your body that causes blood vessels to tighten and become narrower. It also triggers a hormone that makes your body retain water. Normally, these narrowed blood vessels help to maintain blood pressure and fluid balance, but for some people, it can make it harder for their heart to pump blood around their body. ARBs block the action of angiotensin so that blood vessels relax and widen, allowing your blood to flow more easily. Some of the more common agents in this drug class are shown here. You may have noticed that if your medication ends in Sartan, then you are taking an ARB. These are the common or generic names for ARBs. You may also know your medication by its brand name, shown here in brackets. ARBs work in a similar way as another group of blood pressure medicines known as the ACE inhibitors. Some people cannot tolerate an ACE inhibitor because of certain side effects, such as a dry cough. If this is the case for you, then your doctor may decide to prescribe an ARB. ARBs tend to be more expensive than ACE inhibitors, so some insurance providers will only pay for them if you have had an adverse reaction to an ACE inhibitor. If you are dependent upon Fair Pharmacare for income-based drug coverage, it is important to know that your doctor or pharmacist must complete a form known as Special Authority for an ARB to be covered. Even still, only a few of these medicines would then be fully covered. Speak to your doctor, pharmacist, or social worker if you have concerns about medication costs. You may be taking an ARB for one or more of the following reasons. To treat high blood pressure. To protect the kidneys if you have diabetes or kidney disease. For heart failure. Or after a heart attack. Let's start with high blood pressure. Many people are often unaware that they have high blood pressure because there may not be any symptoms to begin with. However, high blood pressure is dangerous because this added pressure can damage your blood vessels and organs, putting you at risk for heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and kidney failure. ARBs open up blood vessels, lowering your blood pressure, which reduces your risk of developing these conditions. Most of the ARBs are also available in combination with an additional medication called hydrochlorothiazide. Hydrochlorothiazide is a diuretic or water pill and it is very effective in lowering blood pressure. Your doctor may prescribe one of these combination products if you require additional blood pressure lowering. Some diabetic patients with kidney problems may also be helped by ARBs. A normal kidney filters blood well to prevent protein from leaking into the urine. Finding protein in the urine suggests that the kidneys are in trouble. ARBs can decrease the amount of protein in the urine and can slow the progression of certain types of kidney disease. Heart failure is a condition where the heart muscle is failing to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs, especially with exertion. Blood carries oxygen and other nutrients to all parts of the body. Since heart failure reduces blood flow, less oxygen will be delivered to the tissues. This may leave you feeling tired or weak. 
Because ARB's main action is to relax blood vessels, the heart has an easier time pushing the blood around the body, improving blood flow. This can help prevent further loss of heart function and may improve symptoms like lack of energy. ARBs can help the heart recover after an injury, such as a heart attack. ARBs can make it easier for your heart to pump, and this will protect your heart and allow it to get stronger. They are one of several medications that are used to help reduce the risk of having another heart attack. You may not notice significant improvements when you first start taking this medication, but it is important to know that if taken regularly, its protective role may prevent further hospital admissions and help you live longer with fewer symptoms. For these reasons, you might be prescribed this medication even if you do not have high blood pressure. Here are some guidelines on how to take this medication. Even if you feel well, take exactly as prescribed by your primary care provider. Your primary care provider could be your family doctor, nurse practitioner, a walk-in clinic physician, or other prescriber. Try to take your medication at about the same time each day. Most ARBs can be taken with or without food. Never take extra medication or double up to make up for a missed dose. If it is almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and resume your regular schedule. Inform your care provider if you're planning for pregnancy or to breastfeed. Notify your care provider immediately if you become pregnant while taking an ARB. You will likely need blood tests within one to two weeks after starting an ARB and periodically thereafter to monitor your potassium level which may increase when taking this medication. The test may also check your kidneys, since some people may experience decreased kidney function when taking this medication. You can help by letting your care provider know if you are suddenly urinating significantly less or if you have diarrhea or vomiting lasting more than two days. If you have high blood pressure, then consider purchasing a home blood pressure monitor or using the automated machine from your community pharmacy. You may be asked to keep a written record of your blood pressure results. Speak to your care provider about your target blood pressure goal. Most people do not experience side effects with ARBs. Here are some of the key side effects to watch for. Let your healthcare professional know if you notice any of the following. Headaches. Headaches usually lessen or improve over time. Diarrhea. Some ARBs can cause diarrhea. Contact your care provider if it lasts more than 48 hours or becomes more severe. Dizziness or lightheadedness. This usually happens when changing position from lying to sitting or from sitting to standing. To prevent this, Try to get up slowly to give your blood vessels time to adjust. If you take your ARB once daily, you may try taking it at bedtime to minimize daytime dizziness. Be aware that alcohol can make the dizziness worse. Tell your care provider if symptoms worsen or if you are dizzy all the time. Dizziness may also occur with low blood pressure. If so, be careful doing activities that could lower your blood pressure even further, such as using a hot tub, sauna, or hot showers. You should not plan on driving until you know how this medication will affect you. Other side effects may occasionally occur. Ask your care provider or pharmacist if you are concerned. As with other medications, there could be important interactions with other products that your care provider should be aware of. Ask your pharmacist about using an ARB with the following. Anti-inflammatories, such as high-dose aspirin, ibuprofen, or naproxen. These pain medications, often purchased over the counter, may affect kidney function, raise blood pressure, and worsen heart failure. 
Note that 81 milligrams of aspirin is commonly prescribed with an ARB in certain situations. However, do not take any more than a low dose of aspirin unless otherwise directed by your care provider. Remember that ARBs can increase your potassium levels. Therefore, you should avoid salt substitutes for flavoring food as they often contain excessive potassium. If you are taking a potassium supplement, then check with your care provider to see if it is still needed. Ask your community pharmacist before selecting cough, cold, and allergy medicines. Some of these products may contain ingredients that could increase your blood pressure. You should also ask about herbal products, as some of these may also increase blood pressure. These include licorice root or black licorice, ephedra or ginseng. Your pharmacist can review your list of medications, alternative therapies, and natural health products for other interactions. This does not always mean that interacting drugs cannot be taken together. Rather, advise your care provider as they may want to monitor therapy more closely and adjust doses accordingly. In summary, ARBs make it easier for your heart to pump, lower blood pressure, protect the heart and blood vessels, and protect the kidneys. ARBs might make you dizzy or lightheaded for the first few days, but this usually improves over time. Use care when going from lying to standing. If your dizziness does not get better, your care provider might need to change the type or amount of ARB that you are taking. ARBs could increase the potassium level in your body. Do not take potassium supplements unless prescribed by your care provider. Contact your prescriber if you have diarrhea or vomiting that lasts more than two days. Be patient with your medication. For conditions like heart failure, it can take several weeks and sometimes months before you notice an improvement in your symptoms.